Here we are in our custom Zero homepage. Going into the new company file, we set up in a prior presentation, that being Get Great Guitars. We're gonna duplicate some tabs to put reports in like we do every time. Right click in the tab up top so we can duplicate it. Right click in the duplicated tab so we can duplicate it. Back to the tab to the left, accounting drop down. We wanna go into that balance sheet report. And then we're gonna tab to the right, accounting drop down, go into the income statement report. Back to the tab to the left so we can change that date range. Hitting the drop down, I want a custom date range. I'm going into 2023 and the end December 31st. That's the home on this range that we want for that date range. Then we're gonna go to the tab to the right. The range looks good here, so we're good to go. I'm gonna go to the first tab and now we're thinking about the processing of payroll. So I wanna reiterate every time we look at this processing of the payroll, although it gets a little bit tedious to do so because I think it's quite important to note that there's multiple different ways that you can be dealing with payroll. And obviously payroll is one of those things that will differ from location to location. Even if you're in a one particular country, it could change from location to location like in the United States because the state taxes uh, could be different and and it's going to add a layer on top of the federal taxes that you have to deal with and if you're in other countries outside of the united states you're going to have your own kind of laws that you have to deal with there in terms of both the accounting that you have to deal with which might include payroll taxes of some shape or form and human resources are often attached to uh the payroll as well which you have to be in compliance with as well that kind of ties in with the whole accounting process and so now you've got the hr accounting side of things as well as the actual bookkeeping side of things both of which can get quite complicated now the two general ways that you can deal with payroll is you could do payroll within the accounting system within zero with the integration of gusto so you can turn on gusto if you hit the drop down here if you hadn't turned it on there would be gusto here and then you're going to have a payroll up top and then here's your payroll tab, which you can process uh, within Gusto. So for me personally, even if I'm not using Gusto, I do everything with Gusto anyways, just because not, not that Gusto, but like I just do things with Gusto, you know. But in any case, you got your payroll that you can process within uh, the Zero system. Your other option is to process payroll with the help of a third-party payroll processor. And in the United States, these are becoming more and more common because of the complexities with payroll. Payrolls become quite complex uh, and therefore, and it's tied to human resources oftentimes. So sometimes even if you don't have that many employees, it could be useful to outsource the payroll to uh, a third party. In which case, what do you need to do in zero? You need to get the information necessary to get your financial statements correct for reporting purposes, internal decision-making purposes, and for the United States, income tax preparation purposes. So a quick look over here on our flowchart. Remember that employees is basically the same as the vendor cycle. This is, this is a QuickBooks desktop flowchart, but we're just looking at it to look at the normal accounting flow. Uh, if it wasn't for the laws related to employees and withholdings and that kind of stuff, paying employees would just be like any other vendor, It'd be like paying a contractor. You would just pay, you, cut, you shake hands and you pay them after the work is done, right? But because of all the laws and human resources and whatnot, now you have the, a whole specialized field that has been created through all these laws and regulations and whatnot. Uh, and on our accounting side, one of the major things we have to deal with is the withholdings. Now, if we do withholdings for payroll taxes and possibly other things like healthcare and, and whatnot, then that's going to force us to deviate from a cash-based system to an accrual-based system if we're processing the payroll within the zero accounting system because we're going to have to track all the withholdings that we take out which are going to be accrual activities. That's going to be a liability that we're going to have to deal with. We're also going to have to store all this data within our zero system, which is tracking everything per employee, as well as per paycheck per employee and year to date information. So we're going to have a whole lot of other reports that are necessary and they're going to be necessary to help us also with the preparation of in the United States, our tax forms, 
which include generally quarterly tax preparation, those being the 941s, yearly tax preparations form 940, W-2 forms, W-3 forms, and uh, and so on. So, so again, the, the system can help us to do that, but it puts a lot of more information if you're running it through Gusto. The other way that you can do this is if you had someone in a third party uh, processing the payroll, then you don't need to pull in all the detail. You can pull in basically just what you need to create the financial statements and reconcile uh, your bank account. So we talked a little bit in prior presentations on how to set up Gusto, but we're not going to set it up in our practice problem uh, because it requires a link to uh, the bank accounts. So what I'm going to do is just basically run through a quick payroll problem imagining we have a, a simplified version of payroll in Excel to calculate what the payroll kind of looks like and then also kind of mirror the reports that you might get from a third party processor like uh, like a Paychex or an ADP. I'm not advertising for them, but those are the, like the bigger ones. And, and then you can, and then how would you take that information and put it into your accounting system? So let's just imagine we're, we have a payroll report that we're gonna put together in excel so uh i'm gonna i'm gonna now i'm gonna create this if you don't want to create it in excel you can just use the excel worksheet here and plug this and imagine that you got this from a third-party payroll processor or this is in essence what would be processed within zero with gusto if you're processing within the system so i'm gonna i'm gonna do this fairly fast i'm gonna right click on the tab here i've highlighted the whole thing i'm gonna format the cells i want to go to currency and I usually like negative numbers to be bracketed. And then I'm going to go no, none of that and no dollar sign. And we'll have uh, two decimals. Okay. Then I'm going to increase the size of the sheet. So I'm going to hold control and scroll up. You can also do it down here. I'm at 120% the size. And then I'm just going to make a, a, a payroll register type of form. So I'm going to start with the name. I'm just going to put my headers of the register total earnings notice that i or you might call it gross earnings let's say gross is probably better gross earnings your earnings are gross no they're your earn you're gross anyway social security social social security and then these are the taxes that are taken out for uh for the United States. Let's start with actually federal income tax, which we can abbreviate with FIT. And then you have Social Security and Medicare, which are the FICA taxes. So I'll say Social Security and then Medicare. So that's what we have to base. We're mandated on a federal side to withhold in the United States. You might have different or similar kind of structures, withholdings in other places as well uh but you know obviously again taxes are going to be part of accounting that's specific by location and then i'm going to make a, a social security adjustment because i need to tie into my bank register and i have a, a a calculation adjustment to do that and then i'll show you that in a second and then we've got uh the 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 income tax and then we've got the net pay that's going to give us the net pay. And then I'm also going to have the employer taxes for Social Security and Medicare that I'll show you as well. So that's going to be our headers. So I'm going to select this whole thing. Why is this over here? And then I'm also going to have a Social Security adjustment again for the employer taxes. So maybe I should pull this down. I'm going to pull this down one. I'm gonna pull it down here. And then just to note, this, these are FICA taxes. So I'll say this is FICA taxes and I'll select these two. And I'm going to, to I'm not gonna merge across like this. I'm gonna right click and then format this. And